What's happening guys, this is James Blanc with MMOHUD.com with a quick weekly recap for MMO news and announcements for the week ending March 3rd, 2013. And our first piece of news comes from Snail Games USA and Age of Wushu. And the news is about the random encounter system that's now being emphasized in the game. Random encounters become recognizable by the glowing red lantern that's seen over the NPC's heads. And interactions with these NPCs can lead to large action quests that lead players battling beasts in dungeons or some that are more straightforward and reward players with recipes or manufacturing skills. A brand new trailer, which you see playing here, demonstrates various elements of these quests. These encounters are random enough to surprise you in the middle of your quest and seem like a way to take an opportunity at a dynamic event with nice rewards. In addition to showcasing this new system, Age of Wushu discusses crime and punishment and how players who kill other players with no rhyme or reason adds to the player's infamy and changes the player's name color and stages from orange to purple as you progress further into an infinite estate. Even at early stages of crime, other players can set bounties similar to that of Wizardry Online. But with this, players who choose to be loyal can help protect the cities with the guards and earn a little bounty money on the side. There are plenty more details about these new features in Age of Wushu, so look for the link in the description below. Next up, Area Games shows off a stunning array of costumes, mounts, along with the Delilah Club and Scarlet Blade. Thanks to the grafting system, the appearance of any piece of gear can be transferred to another to keep the player's desired look intact without sacrificing power. The grafting system combined with the option to hide gear in the favor of the player's preferred costume will let players tailor their exact look into the game. And yes, lingerie does have a purpose beyond looks. It does in fact add bonus stats to your character, as well as provide the proper attire for partying in the Delilah nightclub. Last week, Dizzy BW met with the producer and associate producer of Scarlet Blade with an exclusive interview discussing the various classes, PvP, and plenty other elements in the game, so look forward to that interview video coming early this week. Plus, I got early access to the game, so I'll be checking it out making a first look, so don't miss that one. Last week, we heard a few details about Dungeons & Dragons Online in Update 17, but this week, Turbine unveiled the second expansion to the game called Shadowfell Conspiracy, which takes place in the Forgotten Realms setting with an increased level cap and new iconic heroes. For those of you who are playing the game, look towards more detailed information in the near future. Next up, Sony Online Entertainment released new details along with a new video featuring Planetside 2. A new War Correspondent video series kicks off, giving a civilian's perspective of the battlefield. The new video you see playing here was captured by Robert Stoneman, a cinematic director for film and video games industry. But that's not the only update on Planetside 2. The team has also released a new website called Planetside 2 Players. The site serves as a core hub for gamers and includes comprehensive character and progression stats, detailed stats on classes, weapons and vehicles, and even a live map indicating what faction is currently in control and where. The new site is also designed to show players the direction of the game's updates and added features. So for avid Planetside 2 players, this will be your new home. This next bit of news is for all the Mac gamers, which are probably not watching this right now, but you can tell your buddies that use Mac that League of Legends has finally finished their Mac client. The Mac client does everything the PC client does, including getting updates at the same time everyone else does, along with the occasional update to fix any bugs with the cross-platform integration. But if you don't have a Mac, and you don't have friends with a Mac, or just don't plan to have friends, the new League of Legends Mac client CGI trailer is top-notch, so you can just enjoy that instead. Next up, I've got some more MOBA news for you. On February 28th, Hi-Rez released the latest god, Poseidon. Poseidon is a ranged mage whose passive increases his movement speed by up to 20%, and additional damage goes up on his abilities by 30% as his so-called tide level increases. Successful basic attacks are what increases his tide, however, using his skills decrease it. And whenever Poseidon is ready for his ulti, he then releases the Kraken, and for those that have seen Clash of the Titans, only Perseus with Medusa's head can deal with that. But in addition to the update, the Ultimate God Pack has now been updated and is now available as a single purchase version that includes all playable gods in the game and all gods that are released from now on. Not a bad deal for those who don't want to grind their way towards gods. This is like having an option to buy the game and all its features in full. This next bit of news comes from Nexon America and the release of a new content update for MapleStory, Mark of Honor. The new content update includes Kana, an enchanted character who uses spirits to battle and buff up other characters. In addition to what's in the video playing here, the new update includes a new zone, an increase of maximum character slots from 18 to 24 per world per account, and a set of events through April featuring all the new content. Perfect World Entertainment and Cryptic Studios Neverwinter plans to be at PAX East March 22nd through the 24th, and during the convention players in beta will have access to the Great Weapon Fighter class for the first time ever, in addition to all five other classes. Along with the announcement of the major appearance at PAX, PWE released a new video that you see playing here showing off some pretty badass spider mounts players can get with the Founders Pack. 
The last bit of news comes from Netmarble, and the news is that February 28th, Netmarble announced Arcane Saga, an MMORPG previously known as Prius Online. Arcane Saga is set to offer something for every type of MMO gamer, questing, vast exploration, and brutal PvP. The game will feature some updated touches such as combo attacks and a job system. As of right now, the best place to find more information is the game's Facebook page, otherwise the game is set to launch in North America during the first half of 2013. Anyway guys, that's about it for MMO news. As far as games to look out for, Kartuga is now in closed beta, and as of right now, it looks like you can get a key by following them on Facebook, but hopefully soon, we'll have some keys to give away to you guys at MMOHA.com slash giveaways. Nexon America has decided to kick off closed beta for Navy Field 2, its naval warfare-based MMORITS game, on March 27th. Players can sign up at the new website, which I'll put in the description below, but only a small number of players will be able to get led in. The closed beta period will run from March 27th to April 10th. And finally, Paradox Interactive has announced the start of open beta for Salem, a hardcore crafting MMO that is completely community driven. This is definitely an interesting one to check out, and for players that don't know, in order to survive, you have to learn from the land game to gain skills, scavenge for food, and harvest all kinds of resources. From what I've seen, it looks like a combination of Don't Starve and Towns. There are other games on the horizon that I haven't mentioned here, so be sure to hang out at MMOHUD.com for the latest MMO news and announcements. Like always, if you're looking for more information about the news featured in the recap, first check the description below, otherwise head over to MMOHUD.com news. You can discuss the news in the comments below, or head over to MMOHUD.com forums. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.